company comes along called Tesla, and they say, we're going to make electric cars. And everybody says, yeah, right. Good luck with that, buddy. And uh, the stock start, it's released at like $15 a share. What people are realizing is that this company is going to make money doing something that is new. It's creative. It's different. And not only are they uh, creating new and interesting technology, they're creating beautiful automobiles that are desirable for people. So people that um, want creative thinkers, want to come up with the next new great idea that is going to be uh, something that moves us forward as a society and enhances their business, not only as a brand, but as an economic entity, need creative thinkers. And creative thinkers come with a background, at least in the arts. Their idea was that people don't care how, what their car runs on. They just want it to run. So they were going to run it on a fuel that was way more efficient than gasoline. And they figured out how to do that. And then they, what they figured out also was how to make something of beauty. Because people respond to beauty. Okay, I know it sounds like a woo-woo thing to say, but I'm telling you that 99 out of 100 people would, and I don't want to diss any brands here, but they'd rather drive a Tesla than a Prius, right? Prius is kind of like, why does it have to look ugly? It just does. And, you know, and Tesla is making these beautiful cars that perform every bit as well as, you know, fantastic, any fantastic automobile that you want to name. So um, what uh, they realize, the same thing that Apple Computer realized, is that design is an important part of um, marketing a, a product that will be emotionally connect to people. Um, because if we, if we weren't emotionally involved with the stuff that we have, uh, we wouldn't have anything, or everything would just be sort of black and square. Um, but it's not. We, we like stuff. And everything that you see in your life, my shirt, you know, the, uh, what, name anything, was designed by someone who had some sort of creative impulse and some training probably in the arts. A lot of people see art or the arts as something that's separate from our lives. It's not. It's in every part of everything we do all the time. And uh, if we acknowledge that and nurture that, I, I think that um, not only will we have a more beautiful uh, culture and society, but we'll have a more vibrant and, and uh, richer economy. When I first got involved with the Creative Coalition, I was reading a biography of Albert Einstein by Walter Isaacson. And one of the things that I was so passionate about and so interested in was Einstein's insistence that imagination was a greater asset than uh, technical knowledge. That um, he said imagination is the um, preview of life's coming attractions. And imagination and creativity can be trained. And they're trained by the arts. That, that's what fires people. So that's the blank sheet of paper that you're forced to think of something to fill. And um, there's this, this um, tension, I think, in, in the corporate world between wanting to you know, report your profits every quarter and wanting the next big idea. And um, to this point, I think there's been uh, way too much pressure and, and effort put into keeping the status quo. But the world is changing so fast. And what businesses need, what people need, are people who can think and operate and be successful in a changing environment. Math is easy, right? Math has an answer. Two plus two equals four. That's a great skill to have, but it's very concrete. We're in a world where things are changing so quickly that you, maybe for most people, two plus two equals five. And you need an artist to figure out how to come to that conclusion. There are lots of great examples of this, like IDEO is a, is a company that employs all different kinds of minds to uh, look at problems and create products, and they're probably the most successful you know, branding and, well, whatever they do, they do everything, and, and they do it all well. Um, and they realize that uh, you know, if you are in business and you have all MBAs, you're not going to get a full look at whatever problem you, you are trying to solve. Um, so, investing in the arts and in, in your community and in schools is 
without a doubt, uh, a moneymaker. It's not something that is easy to quantify immediately, which is why I think many people are reticent about it. But um, I think that there are so many examples now of creative and innovative companies who have used uh, cre creativity to sort of leap over their competition and think of a new way of doing things. Um, and you know, when you have access to, to um, creative minds, you can do that. Every dollar spent by the federal government on the National Endowment for the Arts, they receive seven tax dollars in return. So it's a seven to one return on your investment. And those are odds that you will take to Wall Street, you will take to Vegas, you would take any time, any place. So investing in the arts is a moneymaker. It's profitable. Mm -hmm.